This review was requested by Mr. Josh Montemayor. Thank you so much for suggesting me to check this animated film out. Here's a little review in return. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? g 2 here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing one of the most surprisingly well-animated horse movies by DreamWorks, Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. Now, I know there was a Netflix TV adaptation of this movie, but I'll get to that sooner rather than later. Stay tuned. It may not end well for me, though. Anyways, it follows the adventures of a wild and rebunctious Mustang Stallion narrated by Matt Damon as he journeys through the untamed American frontier. Encountering man for the first time, spirit defies being broken. Even as he develops a remarkable friendship with a young Lakota Braid, played by Daniel Studi, the courageous young Stallion also finds love with a beautiful paint man named Rain on his way to becoming one of the greatest unsung heroes of the Old West. Now first off, let's talk about the art style and animation in this movie. They did such a dang good job, honestly speaking. I also love that just like what Prince of Egypt did, it crosses between hand-drawn 2D animation combined with 3D animated cinematography. There's this sort of uniqueness to the style of animation that just immerses me. So well done. Kudos to you guys. Even the way it was executed fits the genre of a horse movie. Like the way the horses gallop and how horses are designed is just so unique to look at. It's just so cool to see DreamWorks taking their time to study how horses function and how they communicate. Which of course, in this movie, horses don't talk. And that's good. It shows the accuracy of this film and I appreciated that. Even the characters were developed and articulated really well. Now I didn't care about the relationship between Little Creek, which the Lakota dude's name is. He's not that forgettable. Don't judge me. Anyways, he connects with Spirit and starts building a friendship but I didn't care for that, to be honest with you. I cared a lot about the friendship between Spirit and Rain, the painted mare horse. Their friendship is what I care about in this film. Sometimes they go their separate ways for a while, which leads to great danger between them, but they don't sugarcoat it, and that's what I loved about the movie. There's also no comedy in this movie. I mean, there's a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor here and there, but overall, it's a straight-up serious animation, and that ain't nothing. Now, the one thing that could have done better, and trust me, it's not not a big deal. It could be that the voice acting could serve a purpose more, and the story and plot line could have been a lot longer. It's a tad bit short. But you know what? In the end, despite those tiny nitpicks about this movie, Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron is one of the most beautifully animated pieces of art with the right amount of storytelling, unforgettable characters, and beautifully shot visual animation. So as a result, I rate Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron Four and a half stars out of five. If you have the chance, go check this movie out. It's totally worth your time, trust me. So Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. Have you seen it? If you have, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Is it good? Is it bad? Answers down below, please. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. It's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. And also, follow me on Startup so you can catch early reactions of movies, TV shows, and trailers. I'll put the link of it below in the description so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.